Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first Forever Vision facial party. My name is Sharon Smith. I am from the San Francisco Bay Area. Thank you all for coming this evening. First of all, I would like to ask a question. Do any of you know what skin is? Skin is the largest organ of your body. And it's living, and it's breathing, and it's hungry, and it's thirsty. So what do we want to feed our skin? We definitely want to feed our skin something natural. If we were to go to a restaurant and order fresh squeezed orange juice, I'm sure that most of you would be quite upset and probably a little disappointed if the waiter were to bring you um, tang. Because obviously it's not fresh squeezed orange juice. It's still orange, but it's not the same thing. It doesn't have the life force. And it's the same thing when you go to a department store and purchase your skin care. It costs a lot of money, actually too much. And the thing is, is that you're not getting, you're not getting something that's, that's uh, natural and, and good for your skin. The Fleur de Jouvence is a state-of-the-art skin care beauty regime. And it consists of six wonderful products. We have an exfoliating cleanser and also a rehydrating toner. We have um, the aloe activator, which is the purest dermal solution of aloe vera that you can buy. And when it's combined with the mask powder, we are able to uh, make a very wonderful mask for our skin. Um, also, we have the Firming Foundation Lotion, which is a wonderful day moisturizer. And also, we have um, the Recovering Night Cream, which is absolutely fabulous. Now, what makes these products so wonderful is stabilized aloe vera. Aloe vera contains almost all of the amino acids. Also, a lot of vitamins, a lot of minerals, a lot of proteins, a lot of enzymes. Um, amino acids are the building blocks of protein. And when you think about it, what is your skin made of? Protein. What is your hair made from? Protein. So what you're doing is you're putting back into your skin and back into your hair, back, in, back into your body, actually what's being depleted. Aloe vera replaces. If you were to go to the bank and you, you had $1,000 in the bank and you withdrew $200 every Friday, at the end, at the end of uh, a few weeks, you wouldn't have any more money left in the bank account. So obviously, if you had a benefactor that kept replacing what you were taking out, then your bank account would never run dry. And it's the same thing when you use aloe vera. Uh, it replaces what your body is using up. Um, the thing is, is that there are about 60,000 pollutants that land on our skin on a yearly basis. And so by using aloe vera, what you're doing is it's, it's kind of like a protective veil. Uh, when I was a little girl living in San Francisco, when my mother and my aunties used to go to San Francisco, um, I admired them so much because they never went to San Francisco without their hats and their gloves and their veils. And it's, you can think of aloe vera as a protective veil on your skin. And also you can think of aloe vera uh, as something that neutralizes the, the toxic effects of the pollutants in the environment that land on your skin. So the first, um, all of you have a Fleur de Jouvence in front of you, and we also have headbands, so if anybody needs to use a headband, go ahead if you feel more comfortable. Also, everyone has a washcloth and a brush and some cotton pads, so um, I think that we could probably just go ahead and begin the four cardinal rules for healthy skin are first cleansing, toning, exfoliation, and moisturization. So we will start with cleansing. All of us are going to be applying the exfoliating cleanser to our faces. And I think that by placing it on your forehead, on your nose, and a little on the chin, and on each cheek, and a little bit on the neck will be very good. And also please use upward sweeping motions and a little bit of circular motion across the chin and a little circular motion on the cheek. Also, don't forget the eye area around the eyes very gently with your ring fingers. And then on the forehead, believe it or not, it's best if you go up and down. You know, it's funny because the lines on our foreheads go across, but actually the massaging technique is up and down. And once you have applied your cleanser, you have dampened washcloth so you can wipe this mixture off of your skin. 
And the next step with the Fleur de Jouvence would be our rehydrating toner. The key ingredients in the exfoliating cleanser are stabilized aloe vera gel. And that is the key ingredient in every single one of the products that make up the Fleur de Jouvence. That's very, very important because if you go to uh, a drug store, for instance, or a health food store, and you're buying a cleanser or some skin care that they claim has aloe vera in it, believe me, it's never the first ingredient. Maybe the third, maybe the fifth, maybe the seventh, maybe the last ingredient. But in our, in our product, the Fleur de Jouvence, aloe vera is the first ingredient, so that is wonderful. It's very, very important. The next key ingredient also in the exfoliating cleanser is jojoba oil and apricot kernel oil. And there's just a little bit of mineral oil in here. And I called a chemist once at Aloe Vera of America to find out why we had a little bit of mineral oil. This is, by the way, the only product that we do have a little bit of mineral oil in. The reason being is that it's used as a solvent for the makeup and the impurities that land on your skin from the environment. And also, it, it renders it that, that those impurities that you are taking off of your skin, it, it does not allow them to be absorbed through the pores. So that's why they place a little bit of mineral oil. So if anyone ever makes mention of that to you, you can, you can let them know that that's the reason why. Okay, after your skin is cleansed, then the second thing that you're going to be using will be our wonderful rehydrating toner. And this is such a wonderful, wonderful recipe of ingredients. Again, the first ingredient is stabilized aloe vera gel, non-alcoholic witch hazel. So there will be a lot of folks that you will get to meet uh, along the way, and some of them will say, well, do you have any alcohol in these products? No, there, are, there is no alcohol in any of these products. So the key ingredient then is stabilized aloe vera gel, non-alcoholic witch hazel, hydrolyzed elastin and collagen, and also beautiful extracts of lemon and cucumber and rosemary. So it's kind of like you're putting aloe vera in a little garden on your face, a little <laughs> garden of products on your face. It's very, very nice. Now, is everybody ready to try the facial? I waited to do this so we could all watch. And this is, there's a little... I want you to all be very creative with this. This is fun. I, I really like to do the facial, and I do it frequently. I probably use the facial two or three times a day, and most people use it two or three times a week. Every time I change my makeup, I do a facial because I want to feed my skin. Remember, think of, people are always thinking about what am I going to have for lunch and what am I going to eat for dinner and what am I going to prepare next Sunday and, and I've got guests coming over Saturday night, but how many people think about how they're going to feed their skin, right? So this is what we should all be thinking about. How are we going to feed our skin? Everyone has insurance. They have house insurance. They have car insurance, right? They have uh, renter's insurance. They have boat insurance. But this is beauty insurance. This is our beauty insurance. All right. So um, we are going to take the third step, the uh, uh, facial mask powder, and you won't be doing this with me. I'll be doing it for you. But you can look at it if you would like. And uh, this is wonderful. It's egg albumin and uh, beautiful white clay found in the earth from France. And what we're going to do is we are going to combine this with the activator. And what activator is, it is the purest dermal solution of aloe vera that you can buy anywhere. The reason aloe vera is so wonderful, stabilized aloe vera that is, is so wonderful, is that it contains um, almost all of the amino acids. There are 22 amino acids. Amino, amino acids are the building blocks of protein. And when you think about it, what is our skin made of? Protein. Our hair is made of protein. Our fingernails are protein. So what we are doing when we're using aloe vera is we are putting back into our bodies what is being displaced or, or used up. So it's, it's kind of our beauty insurance. And um, there are eight essential amino acids. Aloe vera contains seven of those eight essential amino acids. There are 14 secondary amino acids and aloe vera contains 11 of those 14 uh, secondary amino acids. So 
it's, it's pretty hot stuff, girls. I mean, it's really great stuff. Now we are going to blend our wonderful contour mask powder with um, the activator. And this is the recipe that I recommend. We have five people here, so it will be five spoons of mask powder. And to each spoon of mask powder, we will add three spoons of activator. And when we get this blended into a meringue consistency, I like to use, I like to use this uh, little wire whisk. I kind of think of myself as Julia Child when I'm mixing this up. And uh, when I get the meringue consistency, then I like to be a little creative with my mask. And uh, I like to add honey because really, honey is a natural hydrant. And um, also, it makes the mask more comfortable. And you can wear it a longer period of time. And also, our, our honey is really wonderful because our honey is fortified with honeybee pollen and royal jelly. And the spur elements of the bee products, you know, like cowboys wear spurs, well, there's spur elements to the bee products are gold, silver, nickel, and platinum. And there are no cosmetics out there that you can purchase that have those ingredients in them. But we are going to use those tonight, all right? So let's get busy here. So we've got five. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right, sometimes I'm a little bit messy here, but I'll try not to be here. Again, the key ingredient in all of these products is stabilized aloe vera gel. Always go back to stabilized aloe vera gel. And it's the number one ingredient, ladies. It's not the third ingredient, it's not the fifth ingredient, and it's not the last ingredient. It's the first ingredient. And what is aloe vera? Uh, going back again to the amino acids, you know, it's the building blocks of protein. And it contains all the vitamins and minerals and enzymes. So you're really feeding your skin. You're feeding your skin. And um, that's what you want to do. That's your beauty insurance is that you keep feeding your skin. Because someday when you're 50 years old or, or 60 years old, even my granny, you know, my granny used aloe vera. And she died on Valentine's Day on her 98th birthday. My grandmother used aloe vera. She used honey. And she used yogurt. And she lived in the country. And she had beautiful flowers and gardens and so forth. But my grandmother had beautiful skin even up till the time before she died. At 98 years old, she was beautiful skin. So I, I, I remember looking at her skin and thinking, I would like to have skin like that when I become 98 years old. And uh, so I've always been interested in, in natural products. Now, as you can see, I am um, mixing this. I'm going to hold it down here a little bit longer. It's getting the meringue consistency, and then um, I will add the honey to it just a minute. But I want you to know that you can be very creative with this mask. If you have mint growing in your backyards, why not add a little bit of chopped mint to this? You know, you can put it in a blender and, and blend it up in the blender. You'll love that sensation. It's wonderful. And you're not changing anything. What you're doing is you're just adding to. You'll never, you'll never change this. This is, this is just wonderful as it is. But if you want a little diversion, you don't eat the same thing for breakfast every morning and you don't eat the same thing for dinner every night. So it's the same thing with your skin. You can give your skin a little diversion too. The other thing is, is that maybe um, you have some fresh strawberries. You can add fresh strawberries to this, okay? Or fresh peaches to this. So get creative. Get really creative, and you, you'll have a good time mix, mixing this up. And um, you'll never be bored using these products. All right. Now this is, let's see. Get this a little bit. I'm trying not to get messy here. Can you see the meringue consistency that's coming? See this? Uh -huh. Usually a, a measuring cup works very well for this, too. It's a little smaller opening, a measuring cup. And, um, for beating it? Yeah, for beating it. So, so how long do you normally mix it? How long do I beat it? Mm -hmm. Just until I can get that, that meringue consistency. And also, what that reminds me of is that you don't have to make this fresh every time. It will stay very nicely if you uh, mix it and put it into a clean, empty jar really? and cover it. Yes. Wow. 
because a lot of you will use the, you know, a lot of people will, will use the excuse, I don't have time to mix this every day, so I can't use that every day. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that if you mix it and you put it in a little jar and cover it, you can keep it in the refrigerator if you like to apply it cold. Or if you want to, you can just actually put it in uh, your medicine cabinet or uh, in, a, in a cupboard in, in your bathroom. And then just after you finish your shower, most of us wash our hair after we, when we take a shower. So while you're uh, uh, blow drying your hair and maybe using the curling iron, you could be giving yourself a facial. And then on Saturday mornings when you're doing some laundry and, and uh, maybe writing out your grocery list, give yourself a facial. Try to take advantage of this as much as possible. Even if the kids are driving you crazy and the phone is ringing off the hook, the thing is, is, is that you might as well be giving yourself a beauty treatment, right? <laughs> so that's, that's my motto. Give yourself a beauty. Treat your skin really nice because if you treat your skin really well, your skin will really reward you. You will all, people will always ask you, gosh, you have such beautiful skin. What do you use? People come up to me a lot and ask me, what do you put on your skin? Or, I have several girlfriends uh, that have been using these products. As you can see right here, by the way, I'll interject this. I'm putting this honey in here, and I'm not measuring the honey. I'm just putting it in. You don't have to measure the honey. Just mix it in. You don't have to refrigerate it. You don't have to refrigerate it because the honey actually acts as a natural preservative okay. for this. And not only is the honey a natural hydrant, but also it's a natural preservative. So it will stay very nicely. I just want to show the ladies um, how this looks and how it smells. Claudia, mm -hmm. nice. It almost looks like you could eat it, huh? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It smells nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real, like a dessert. Good. I, ag I agree with you. Kind of like a dessert. Nice. Oh, yeah. It is uh -huh. very sweet. Uh -huh. Where's the angel food cake, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the strawberries. We have to have strawberries, too. Yeah. Michelle? Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to put on our skin. So we might as well kind of get busy here. And I'm going to borrow your little... And maybe, Claudia, you could just, I'll fill up this cup and then you can pass it around. Okay. Uh -huh. And all of you have a brush, right? Everybody's yeah. got a brush. Okay. All right, now we're ready to apply. Take your brushes. Everybody has a brush? All right. Dip your brush into your mask mixture and start with your neck with sweeping motions going up and out. Uh huh. Perfect. Shaving cream. Yes, kind of, kind of like that, right? Smells good. Mm -hmm. It really does smell good. Now this is very good, even for uh, women who have just had babies. They can put this on their tummies. You know, it's a real nice mm -hmm. conditioner for the stomach. And if you have any extra left over, go ahead and put it on your hands. The main thing is never waste it. Just use it. You know, your your skin really appreciates this very much. And another thing, don't avoid the eye area. When you usually use um, uh, products um, that you buy in a department store, they will tell you to avoid the eye area, but it's just the opposite with this. You can use this around your eye area very well. This feels so fresh. It does. It, really feel, it does feel good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It really does. Go under the eye? Uh-huh. It's fine. It's absolutely fine to go under your eye. And with the honey... You are able, you can wear this for a long, a long time. If you, uh, for instance, if you were doing your, your uh, housework on a Saturday afternoon, you could wear this all Saturday afternoon. And then when it was time to uh, go grocery shopping, wash your face, put your makeup on, and go out the door, you can feel good. You've given yourself a wonderful beauty treatment. You could. Uh, well, you know, that's what I started to say, that I have a friend, and uh, she's from Scotland, and uh, she moved over here in her early 20s. And uh, she's always been a sun worshiper, and um, uh, her skin really has suffered. And uh, she's been using the Fleur de Javance for almost a year and a half now. And she has had such dramatic results that she has even changed her hairstyle. So now she's wearing, after, after a year and a half, she's wearing her hair off of her face 
because the wrinkles have diminished on her face and her skin is just looking very lovely and very very refreshed looking. You know, she's been using the Fleur de Jouvence consistently and that's very important too, that you want to use these products consistently. We would not have the results that we get when we brush our teeth if we only brushed our teeth once a week or even three times a week, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very important that you use this product consistently because then you will definitely get the results that you want. Uh, we will probably leave this on not more than 10 minutes tonight because we're going to go on with other things. But um, how does it feel, Rosa? Does your skin feel good? I feel great. I feel fresh. Good. And I have a question. Uh, when you apply the mask, yes. you have to be quiet or... No. No, absolutely not. No. The thing is, is, is that most women today are so busy. They have jobs, they have children, there's housework, there's gardening. There's so many things to do. So not very many of us can say that we are ladies of leisure, right? Right. Okay. So the thing is, is that I think that you will feel better about what you have to do if you know that you're giving yourself a beauty treatment. Don't you feel better? When you feel that you look good, you're happier, right? So even though you might be folding clothes and doing laundry for a couple of hours, if you know that you're giving yourself a beauty treatment during that work time, you're, you're happier because when you finish doing the laundry, you're going to take your mask off, you're going to put your makeup on, and you're going to get your nice clothes on, and you're going to go out and meet the public and go grocery shopping right or go to the dry cleaners or take your child to ballet class or or maybe pick up the neighborhood children and take them all to a movie but the thing is is that people are always looking at your face right they always see your face so to present your face in the most beautiful healthy fashion possible is the most important thing to do because if you are going to sell these products you have to be a product of your product. You have to look like you're using these products, don't you think so? You know, if you don't look like you're using them, you can't expect somebody else to do it, to, to use them. And the other thing is, is, is that if you're trying to tell somebody how wonderful this Fleur de Jouvence is, and you're only telling them from up here, they are going to feel it. They will know. But if you tell them with your heart, and you look like you use it, then you, have a, then you have convinced that person that maybe they should use these products, right? And maybe they can look as pretty as you, Rosa, or as pretty as you, Claudia, or as pretty as any of you that are sitting at the table, okay? So we have to become products of our product and really, really believe in these products. And exactly what we are doing here tonight is what you will go home and duplicate in your own homes, in your own neighborhoods, you know, in the churches that you go to, um, just, you know, in, in, with your, your friends, your family, your neighbors. This is what you want to show them because the cosmetic industry is the second largest industry next to the food industry in the world. The thing is, is that wouldn't you like just a little bit of the action yourself, ladies? Just a little bit of that yourself to put in your own pocket? I think so. Now, I want to show you something. While this is on your face, I want to show you why this is so good, okay? I want to show you how it penetrates your skin. Your skin is divided into three layers. So we have one, two, and three. Now, the outer layer of your skin, it looks strange. It looks like little horns. These are dead skin cells, okay? Under a microscope, the skin, the outer layer of your skin looks just like this. Now, the third layer of skin is called the subcutaneous. This is where the fat cells are. I think that's why it must be very difficult to get rid of fat because it's hiding under the third <laughs> layer of skin. All right, now the second layer is called the dermis. And this is actually where the beauty of your skin is born, in the dermis, okay? I'm going to make a little cross-section like this. 
and we'll put the brand new baby skin cells. These are all, this is like a little hospital nursery. These are all little brand new babies. You know how the babies, when they're born, they have to stay in the nursery? Well, these are brand new baby skin cells. And I always give them little happy faces because they get to drink aloe vera every single day. Okay? All right, so these are them. Now, the first layer, this is called the epidermis. I think we're getting a little draft here. Okay, this is, can everyone see this? This is the epidermis. Now, the epidermis is actually divided in half, and this is called the basal layer. This is where our coloring is. This is where the cells that make the pigmentation for our coloring. This is the layer that they are produced. Now, as these little skin cells mature, they are pushed up here. They are pushed to the top. And as they start nearing the top, they become almost flat. See, they're kind of round here, but as they start making that exodus forward to the top of our skin, they become flat. Now, in order for these brand new baby skin cells to become the new outer layer of your skin, what you have to do is you have to get rid of this horny layer. And that's what you're doing right now is you're exfoliating and stimulating your skin with this wonderful mask that you've got on. And it's comfortable, isn't it? It's, it's not uncomfortable. And really, all of you look very pretty with it on your skin. You know, it just looks like you have a super moisturizer on your skin. You know, it's not itchy. You know, it's very, it's very easy to wear, huh? Very comfortable. Good. Now, uh, and, and also I want to say this is that this exodus of these cells, of these brand new baby skin cells to the very top, takes approximately 28 days, okay? 28 days for these brand new baby skin cells to become the new outer layer of your skin. And the beauty sleep, you know, you've heard of beauty sleep? It's really true. The hours for your beauty sleep are between 12 and 4 a.m. So please try not to go to bed later than 12 o'clock because if you do, you're losing an hour or two of your beauty sleep. All right. <laughs> All right, now I want to show you something about aloe vera. <clears throat> I wish we could get this guy to stay here. He's just not very, being very cooperative. Let's try that. All right, now aloe vera, the wonderful thing about aloe vera is that it penetrates all three layers of your tissue. So when you apply aloe vera, <clears throat> it goes all the way down here to the subcutaneous. Isn't that interesting? You know? And not only does it penetrate all the way down to the subcutaneous, but once it gets to the subcutaneous, guess what? It goes all the way back up here again to the epidermis. So you get, um, gosh, I don't know, two for the price of one. You know, it's kind of like a double whammy, whatever. You're getting, you're, getting, you're getting the benefit of the aloe vera twice. You're getting the penetration, and then you're also getting it as it's, going, it's working its way back up. So, and that's because of the substance called lignin. All right. So, excuse me. Okay, L-I-G-N-I-N. Lignin is what gives aloe vera its penetrating ability. Is that why your face will sometimes break out, because it's doing such a deep cleansing? Well, you know, um, I asked uh, an esthetician. I went to an esthetician, and I asked her that very question. And what she told me is, is that when um, you make the transition from wearing um, uh, or, or using uh, products that are not real natural on your skin. For instance, maybe you're going, you're buying over the counter at the major department store. Maybe you're buying uh, nice brand names, but you're buying something over the counter. And then you're, you're stopping using that kind of a product and you're using the natural product. Your skin has to go through a transition. So that's what you're experiencing is the, the result of that transition. 
because those, those chemicals and the, the unnatural substances that they use to make those products, those go deep down into the, those go into the pores too, so you're cleansing your pores. It's kind of a detox. It's kind of a detox, I would think so. Uh -huh. But uh, the esthetician that I spoke with said that that was a very normal um, uh, state and that it was just a transition type of a thing and that not to fear and to keep using our products because definitely that will stop. Uh -huh. Not everybody experiences that either. Some do and some, not too many. You know, it's an amazing thing because over um, the, the last five and a half years that, that I have been working with the Fleur de Jovance, I've really only had three people ever tell me that it wasn't working for them. And um, one of the ladies that told me it wasn't working for her, uh, I kind of um, got a kick out of it because the thing is, is that she wasn't using the exfoliating cleanser. She was using the night cream and she was using some of the toner, but she wasn't cleansing her face. And um, so the thing is, is, is that you must, there's, there's a really nice little book that comes with your Fleur de Jovance kit. I hope that all of you will uh, read this. Uh, it's, it's both in English and in Spanish. And I hope that you would, will read it because it will tell you exactly how to use the Fleur de Jovance. It explains the morning procedure and the night procedure. And uh, it explains also each product and uh, the key ingredients in each product. And um, it's, it's, very, it's, it's very good. It's an amazing thing because over um, the, the last five and a half years that, that I have been working with the Fleur de Jovance, I've really only had three people ever tell me that it wasn't working for them. And um, one of the ladies that told me it wasn't working for her, uh, I kind of um, got a kick out of it because the thing is, is that she wasn't using the exfoliating cleanser. She was using the night cream and she was using some of the toner, but she wasn't cleansing her face. And um, so the thing is, is, is that you must, there's, there's a really nice little book that comes with your Fleur de Jovance kit. I hope that all of you will uh, read this. Uh, it's, it's both in English and in Spanish. And I hope that you would, will read it because it will tell you exactly how to use the Fleur de Jovance. It explains the morning procedure and the night procedure. And uh, it explains also each product and uh, the key ingredients in each product. And um, it's, it's, very, it's, it's very good. It's a very, very good uh, little um, instructional guide. Yes, thank you. All right, ladies, I think that we can probably take this facial mask off and uh, go for a moisturizer. And um, all of you have fresh, clean uh, towels. So... Um, just uh, wipe it off and... Uh, Taking it off in the same uh -huh. manner as... Yes, please take it off in the same manner that uh, you applied it. it. It's always... You know, the Japanese people, uh, they are taught when they are little girls how to massage their skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you will probably notice, you know, most Japanese people have really beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is, is that they massage their skin on a daily basis and they always start with the upward motion uh, on their necks and then they use their fingers like little scissors and they go across the chin you know two different directions and then also um, up and down through the nose area and then uh, around this area out to the temple actually you have like little pressure points right here you have one here mm -hmm. and then you also have some right here so it's very good for your skin and also very relaxing to your face to touch these areas at least a couple of times a day, especially when you're cleansing your skin or putting on your moisturizer. And again, on the forehead, you want to go up and down as opposed to across. And around the eye area, that's the area that you want to be very gentle because that's the, probably in that area is where you have the thinnest skin. Exactly, exactly. So I think that if you use your ring fingers, uh, it's, you don't apply very much pressure, and that will be a safe way to massage uh, your face and, um, 
and apply your moisturizer. Tonight we also are going to introduce some R3 Factor. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, uh, accompaniment to the Fleur de Javance and um, I, I highly recommend it. So what we're going to do once this is washed off of our faces is we are going to use the cotton pad one more time. We're going to apply the rehydrating toner. And again, the rehydrating toner is very wonderful to um, tone the skin and condition the skin and to remove any last little bit of mask that might be or might have been left on your skin. Is it important to shake the product at all or can you just open it? Um, I think you can just open it and use it. If you feel more comfortable shaking it, go ahead and give it a little shake. Um, generally, I take, I take these products with me. I carry them with me in my handbag, so I think they probably are naturally uh, shaken up. up. Uh -huh. <laughs> And also, I use them so frequently, I'm sure that they're naturally shaken up. But isn't that, doesn't it give your skin a nice, refreshing uh, feeling to use this toner? Don't you feel like you're using something that's really beneficial to your skin? Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you don't feel as though you're putting chemicals on. Your skin looks just beautiful, Rosa. I know you don't have any makeup on, but you look absolutely radiant. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful it's skin. Really clean. Uh huh. Well, what we've done is we have, by using the mask, you have exfoliated the, dense, the dead skin cells. And now you've used this, this uh, ex, uh, rehydrating toner to condition and tone your skin. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is um, I recommend that you use the R3 Factor. This is kind of a, an anti-wrinkle cream and also a very nice sunscreen. The key ingredient, of course, is stabilized aloe vera gel, PABA, which is a natural sunscreen, and also glycolic acid derived from milk and fruit. So what this does uh, is that it, it penetrates the skin and it helps to prevent wrinkles and to diminish the ones that you already have. All right, so I recommend that you use this before you apply the firming foundation lotion, which would be your day moisturizer, and or before you apply the recovering night cream. Before we put our makeup on, we would put the R3 factor, the firming foundation, and then our makeup. Exactly, but the, okay. but the R3 factor I recommend highly. It's a wonderful, wonderful tonic for your skin, mm -hmm. wonderful moisturizer for your skin. So I really recommend that you use this before your moisturizer that you're going to apply in the evening and or your moisturizer that you are going to okay. apply at night. Not in place of it. No. Not, well, some people use it by itself, but I really think that it, it's, it really works well with a partner, okay. whether it be the recovering night cream and or the, re, um, the firming foundation lotion. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And when you start using it, you'll, you'll appreciate this. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. A, a lot of men that I know use this product. They really enjoy it, yes. So you use that on your whole face? You yeah. use this on your whole face, yes. The thing is, is, is that there are a lot of, of uh, really uh, expensive cosmetic companies that sell the equivalent of this R3 factor for not less than $75 or $60 uh, an ounce. So this is great. We've got it. Let's use it, girls. So I'm going to give each one of you a little bit of this. And just dot it on. You don't have to have a lot of this. Dot it on your forehead, your cheeks, and your, and your nose, and your chin, and a little bit on your... Thank you. Mm -hmm, and a little bit on um, uh, your neck. Okay. So it's, doesn't this feel wonderful? Doesn't the R3 factor feel great? And it has a beautiful texture. And it makes your skin feel like it has a new uh, layer of, of moisture on, on it. It's yes. very, very nice. Now your skin will drink this very quickly. And so the next step that I recommend is that you um, apply the firming foundation lotion because it's, it's later in the evening now, what you might want to do is try the firming foundation lotion on one side of your face and then try the recovering night cream on the other side. That way you will be able to compare the moisturizers. 
What's the difference between the firming foundation and the night cream? The, the night cream is a little heavier. And the key ingredients in our uh, night cream are aloe vera, stabilized aloe vera, and bee propolis. And also, um, uh, we have uh, hydrolyzed elastin and collagen and comfrey and chamomile, which are healing twins. And uh, it's, it's just a really wonderful, uh, nourishing um, cream. It, it's, it really helps to promote um, the new skin cells. Remember I told you about the little skin cells that got to drink aloe vera every day? All right, well, this penetrates, so it helps them to become very strong so that they can mature earlier to become the new outer layer of your skin. Okay. All right? Now, uh, with the recovering, the excuse me, the firming foundation lotion, uh, again, the key ingredient is stabilized aloe vera gel, but also hyaluronic acid is in uh, our firming foundation lotion. And what hyaluronic acid is, it's to the cells what the amniotic fluid would be to a fetus. It bathes, it washes, it feeds the cells. And actually, our skin produces the hyaluronic acid up until about the age of 30. And that's why you look at uh, a, a little child and they have such beautiful skin. And it's, they don't need a moisturizer. Their skin is producing its own moisturizer. Also, what hyaluronic acid does is it pulls moisture from the environment to your skin. So up until the age of 30, your skin produces this hyaluronic acid, but Forever Living Products has included hyaluronic acid in the Firming Foundation Lotion to give you an extra boost of nutrition. So everything that you need to have healthy, beautiful skin is packaged in your Fleur de Jouvence. Okay, wow. everything that you need. And I want to show you, ladies, something too. The eye cream, for instance, if you were to go into uh, a nice department store and, and order um, a, a skin care regime, you would have to bring with you not less than $300. And that's middle of the road. That's not too high and it's not too low. It's just kind of middle of the road because the average eye cream is $35 and sometimes more, sometimes more. The average cleanser is not less than $25, and there's no aloe vera in it. You know, you're just buying $25 worth of chemicals. The average toner is $25. The average mask is $50. The average night cream is $50. The average day moisturizer is about 40 maybe a little bit more. I'm kind of, again, going the middle of the road. Um, the average anti-wrinkle cream is $75. Of course, depending on the brand name, you can spend 80, you can spend 125. But these ingredients, or these products, and these prices will equal $300. So what I want to tell you is please don't give it to the lady behind the cosmetic counter put it back in your own pocket. The thing is, is, is that if you have oily skin or you have dry skin, she doesn't care. Maybe her product is for a person with oily skin and if you go in there and you have oily skin, she's not going to tell you that you shouldn't be buying products at her counter because guess what? She has to make an hourly quota. You know, she has to answer to a boss. And her boss is going to know, want to know why haven't you sold X amount of dollars worth of product this hour or, or today or yesterday or last night when you were working. So for her, the most important thing is, is her sale. And also, she needs the commission because it helps, it helps her salary. So you can't believe everything that they tell you when you're going there to buy the product. Besides, save the money and if you want to go buy a beautiful tube of lipstick or a nice perfume or cologne or some nice blush, uh, do that, okay? This is the best for your skin care. Now, I want to show you, you need three kits. Why? Because you want one for yourself, and you want one to share, like we're doing tonight, and you want one to sell, right? All right. One kit last. Debbie, I would say that one kit is good for at least a month and a half. 
maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit longer. But they, I have measured out with a little plastic spoon that is in the Fleur de Javante. And if you are going to do a mask a day, there are 30 masks in here. Okay, there's 30 masks in here. So that's a month. That's a month worth of masks. And um, I think probably the first thing that all of us have to replace in the Fleur de Javance is probably the activator, right? I think that's the first thing that you'd have to replace. So actually, different items or different products within the Fleur de Javance might last a little bit longer. Some of them might have to be replaced in a month, and then maybe another something might have to be replaced in, on the second month. But definitely, you're going to get your money's worth. So you can replace each item individually? Yes, you can, Michelle. And that's what is so nice and what is so convenient about the Fleur de Javance because, yes, you will want to replace piece by piece. But the thing is, is that if you are going to replace more than a few pieces, it's really to your benefit to buy a whole Fleur de Javance. You know, it's a really nice case. And, you know, this mirror is, is just a, a fantastic uh, mirror to uh, use um, when you are getting ready in, for work in the morning to look at your hair, to look at your face. Also, for travel purposes, this is really very, very convenient. You know, it's very, very convenient. So, um, yes, you can buy these products individually. And, uh, yes, um, they're, they're terrific. I just want to tell all of you that you look absolutely wonderful. Your faces look very rosy and pink and dewy fresh and, and uh, just really wonderful. How, do you, how does your skin feel, uh, Michelle? It feels really clean and really smooth. I can tell it's shed some layers of skin. And good. It's really nice. Very good. It looks really good. And that really nice good. night cream is good. heavenly. Can you all tell the difference between the night cream and the firming foundation lotion? That's good, huh? That's very good. And the R3 factor, yes? Like it? Good. It really feels like your face is just drinking up the moisture. You know, exactly. It's just really thirsty for it. So very it's great. Good. Very refreshing. Very good. And Debbie? I really like how it feels. It, right. My skin feels very moist. Right. And it looks very natural, too. All of you, your skin looks very beautiful. With or without makeup, you don't need it. Your skin looks so beautiful. Rosa? I feel my skin is um, very soft. Very soft. Yeah. Great. I feel great. Oh, wonderful. And Claudia, you look beautiful. Very nice. So how many of you have a Fleur de Javance at home waiting for you? I do. You do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, for those of you that do not have a Fleur de Javance, I certainly hope that you will talk to your sponsor and that you will definitely buy a Fleur de Javance and also Buy enough that you can share. Buy at least a case so that you can, you can have one for yourself and that you can share one with a friend and also that you will be able to sell. And I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. It was a wonderful party. And I hope that all of you at home have learned something from our party. And I hope that you will go out and duplicate exactly what we have been doing this evening. We've had a lot of fun, don't you think so, ladies? Yes. It's been a lot of fun. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Thank you very much.